45. Oh, finally got ourselves loaded. It's 11.30, 11.22 exact. I'm gonna run this joint. I'm going to High Falls, New York. Run this, knock this out, come back. We got one more going to Poughkeepsie, close to the house. And then we bringing it in. The rain in the last two days, man. It's been nasty out here. But it melted all the snow, so. At least that's a good thing. One thing we need that cold back. When that cold's popping, man, we out here working hard with this propane. LP driver there. Cutting my teeth out here, getting used to everything. Learning the signs and stuff. As far as I mean signs, I mean like, you know, signs of things going bad or things going good. You gotta pay attention, man. But this been a long time coming, man. Um, I started this process of switching over to propane March of 23. I had my first interview with this company. And I guess, you know, at the time, I guess, they, I don't know if they were looking for someone else or, or looking for more owner operators at the time. But after my, uh, after my in initial interview, you know, he told me just he was going to hold off because, you know, the weather was getting too warm and he just didn't want to have, have me out here as an owner operator with no work. And I have a truck note. And listen, not many people will say that. Not many people will, uh, you know worry about my truck note so much you know what i'm saying so they were really nice on that far as not just stringing me along you know get me on get me on track or get me on leased on to the company and then all of a sudden no work now i'm running around chasing money so you know i appreciate them for that but um yeah i just emailed every every few months i would just send an email out saying hey don't forget about me yo and they were very nice responding. Hey, we didn't forget about you, Dwayne. We didn't forget about you. It didn't get cold in New York until, uh, I wanna say maybe like November. Like the first week in November, they called me. I, and I remember, it was funny, cause I woke up the that morning and I'm like, oh, it's cold. And it was the first time we had to put the frosters on the car, like the car was really frosted. And I was like, man, it's cold. I got my kids ready for school. Got them to school and everything. I get back home. My wife and I going out for breakfast. I get the call. Hey, Dwayne, you see that frost? And I was like, wow. Like the way he said it, it was just like we were both thinking the same thing. You know what I'm saying? But it was cool. They called, started the process. And um, yeah, I'm here now. As you can see, I'm in the company truck. I'm waiting for my plates from New York State, IRP, all of that kind of stuff. Anybody that deals with commercial stuff like that you know what you know the hold up is just the people on the other side you know so but you know all the paperwork is in no additional paperwork is needed so I'm just waiting for them to send the invoice pay the invoice hut sticker all of that you know if they we good we'll be riding in freedom got a box truck over there that might be DOT unless he was speeding and they just got him. I think there's an inspection station up here going north though. But it's a nasty day. We'll get it done. It's Friday. So you already know. Alright, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace. Yeah, I don't know these roads, you know, so obviously I'm not gonna speed anyway with a load like this, but or in general, but you know what I'm saying? Especially you don't know where you're going, you don't even been in the area. It's tight. It's tight. But I'm in it. Man. Google Maps didn't show that or Google Earth didn't show that. Let me figure this out and do the gate code. You guys can't see all of that. And we'll get back to it. All right, we're in. Well, we're not in yet, but we got the code. 
This is our loading spot right here. So we'll line up to that, John. All right, right there is good. Let's put ourselves on duty. Wait, I gotta close the gate back. I can't be in here with the gate. There you go. Anytime you're inside a facility, especially like the bulk area, you gotta uh, you gotta lock yourself in, man. You can't. You're not supposed to be pumping with gates unlocked and stuff. For security measures. All right, guys. So this is what we're gonna do. First things first. We're gonna go measure the tanks. Make sure our loader fit. Because the, the last thing we want to do is get all set up. Let's see if we're lined up good. All right, we're lined up perfect. Bing, bong. Oh, so this one has an old school. No gauge. So I got to twist that and check it. All right, so. Pressure looks like it's about 95 Tank volume is like 46% and my Fahrenheit is like 23. So this has an old school gauge. You see the dials, excuse me, the dials. You see the numbers on the side, 90, 85. So you gotta twist this. And then you roll it. I always roll it away from my face because you're gonna see what's gonna happen when it starts to spit. We're at 70. 65, 60, 55, 50, 45. I always let that clear. You see, that's why I said spray it, do it away from your face, right? I always touch it one more time, let's see. 50, 45. So we're at 45% in this tank. I'm going to close this up. Oh man, it won't close. There it go. Woo! So you see like this thing gets frozen really fast, man. 85 pressure, 45 percentage. Okay guys, paperwork is done. Now real quick before we get started, both these tanks are 30,000 gallons. So that's 9,500 gallons of propane. 9,500 gallons of propane will move a 30,000 gallon tank 32%. So this tank being 45, that one being 45, you figure divide that 32% by two because it's two tanks. So it should move each tank 16%. So should, we should be at about 61% each tank when we're done, all right? Oh, I'm not like, please believe me. I'm not talking like a know-it-all. I'm just learning all this stuff, but I'm, I'm trying to teach everybody too as I go. You know what I'm saying? A little content, you know. Follow your boy, Propane Wayne. So first thing, you know, I gotta have my fire extinguisher out. Now you see right here, it says open. I'm gonna open the belly of the truck. Probably can hear that little. That's all air release. I'll do that now because I don't want to do it right before I start pumping off. I want to let the let that belly open the right way and everything. So, all right. So we got our tools. We got our bungee to tie up our our hoses. Let's get it. So now we got our hoses here. Let's bleed these off. Bleed this off. You don't want. Oh, the chain got twisted. Oh. Let's see. I got vapor. All right, let's do vapor first. Pull my hose out. Straight to the truck. Straight to the truck. This one right here, um, you do a little hand tight on this one. That one will have to be chock too tight. As long as you don't hear nothing coming out of it, it doesn't have to be chock crazy tight, you know? Okay, 
because this one doesn't have a vent. I always open everything slow, man. You just never know what kind of back pressure something's holding. So, you know, open stuff slow, man. Take your dang time. 